Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from ddefranco.com slash ask your open forum for submitting questions for videos such as this one. Please don't make noises, iPhone. Glenn says, well today's question comes from Glenn. Glenn says, hey David, I bought this Senio Exacti VPC FH1A. FH1, I said that weird. Um, around the same time that you did, I'm, and I'm experiencing the same focusing issues that led you to sell it. Yeah, I know, it's too bad. I've been thinking of selling the Sanyo in favor of the Canon Rebel T3i or T4i, but it just doesn't seem very practical uh, to use for making all my videos with. I realize that you like your Panasonic camcorders, example A, but there's always new ones coming out. That shouldn't stop you, that's just technology in general. Panasonic or not, which one should I buy at a, at a reasonable price point of $300, $400 or so? Thanks for your advice, and thank you for the excellent question, Glenn. Okay, Glenn, I'm going to split this question up into two parts, but this video, judging from the title above, is going to be focused around the first point, and that's this. Can you use DSLRs for vlogging? Yes, but I don't really recommend it. Trust me, I would love to use my Canon T4i, which I love, by the way, for vlogging. It's just not realistic. Yes, I can set the manual focus uh, to a certain focal length that I like and blah, 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 and have it be in focus, but that's the thing. Vlogging is one of those things where you're constantly changing the camera, showing your family members, showing your pets, or wherever you're eating, you know, wherever you are, whatever you're eating at the time, or whatever. I mean, vlogging is not intended for DSLR use. DSLR use is more intended, in my opinion, for this kind of usage, sitting on a tripod and not really moving that much, or making an actual movie, or whatever works for you, basically. So I guess my point is, it can work for vlogging, I just don't really recommend it because it's just too much work. And yes, I know DSLRs, um, especially the T4i, the T4i can autofocus and it does an okay job, but you need a special lens for that so it's silent, or at least as silent as you're going to get. And, I don't know, that's going to rack up some money, uh, especially since you're saying 300 to $400 or so. So, with that aside, I just got to say, DSLRs are not intended for, for, for uh, vlogging. It's certainly possible. I just don't really suggest exploring it. I mean, unless you want to spend some money and you have patience and all that time to put into it, then yes, by all means, go for it. But in my opinion, go for a camcorder like this. Okay, so speaking of camcorders, let's get to the second point of this video. And while you're asking, Glenn, I don't really know any exact model numbers to recommend right now because prices are always changing. But, I will say this camcorder, I don't know how much it costs anymore, I think they raised the price after I bought mine, ironically, which I guess I got lucky. They did the same, they did the same thing with the Senyo Exacti VPC FH1A, I don't know why, maybe it's a coincidence. But either way, getting to the point, this is the Panasonic HDC SD600K. Whether or not it costs $300 to $400, I'm still going to link you below anyway. Um, you know, to the Amazon page, because I love this camcorder, it's amazing. White balance is okay here and there, but I have it set on a manual white balance, now that way it never changes again, and as you can see, I think it looks pretty damn good. Um, and let's not forget, it is a camcorder, it's meant for hand holding, it's meant for, you know, virtually instant, I don't want to say instant, because there's no such thing as instant autofocus, uh, but it's virtually instant autofocus, and it does a great job. Overall, awesome camcorder. I just don't know how much it costs. I think mine cost around $400 at the time. It's just, like I said, prices can vary all the time on camcorders on Amazon. But with this camcorder aside, I will list at least two below within your price range that I personally would recommend. So check those out as well, I guess. But if you can, try to go over this game. Well, I should say, they don't even sell this camcorder anymore. I just realized that. I think it's called like the TM900K now, I believe. But either way, don't worry, I'll hook you up, links are right below, check them out. And that's that, I hope it helped you out, Glenn, and again, thanks for the question. Today's free audiobooks, and today as an Ask a Question video, is called The Digital Divide, Writings For and Against Facebook, YouTube, Texting, very interesting, and the Age of Social Networking, normally costing 28 US dollars, it is yours for completely free, so check it out, audibletrial.com slash the creative one, link is right below. I mean, if you're into YouTube, if you're into Facebook, Twitter, or texting, or any kinds of social media, which I'm sure you are because you're watching this video, then I don't see why you won't like this book. The ratings are good, the price is good, because it's free, and, well, again, it's free. Check it out, audibletrial.com slash the creative one. Again, link is right below for convenience. Just copy and paste that link as soon as you sign up, and the book is yours to keep until the day you die.
So as always, very special thanks to Audible for making that possible. And again, Glenn, thank you so much for the awesome question. I'm really glad I finally got to talk about DSLRs and vlogging and the camcorders I personally recommend. And speaking in terms of camcorders I recommend, um, be on the lookout for a website I'm going to be putting out in a couple months or so. I'm going to try to have it out before Christmas. Um, I'm just putting that little tease out there, so I'm just really excited. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, just go to dfranco.com slash ask. The link, link is right below. Click that, post your question, and you never know. Maybe I'll answer your question and give you full credit in a future video such as this one. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome Tuesday, and I will see you in my next video.